Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I like Blender you can call me Blenderic. Uh, in this video tutorial I want to show you how to uh, group uh, objects together in Blender. Uh, in my video to uh, Blender modeling furniture video tutorials part 1 to 10 we have created uh, some um, furniture for our scene we are putting together and uh, if you are working on it you probably have in your blender files library saved the uh, cupboard coffee table sofa and uh, media cabinet yeah uh, i've asked you to save your files if you do that's great <laughs> if you don't you probably need to go all over again uh, and just just to show you I, I think I told you that I'm still just a beginner so I'm basically making these tutorials while I'm learning how to work with the blender and uh, I have realized that I'm learning while I'm making these tutorials so because you know in uh, we are making this all these models in order to put them together later on and create nice scene nice animation of our uh, interior scene but I was I was just too curious and I wanted to try how it's gonna look like because I have some models done as well and uh, I I found some some problems uh, which I needed to fix so I did and now I want to show you how to do that yeah so for that I have created this small cabinet which is not gonna take place in our final scene uh, this one is just to show you what I'm what I'm talking about uh, uh, so we have created a cupboard uh, and uh, basically just a cupboard and media cabinets are like uh, more complicated models uh, the coffee table is just sing one mesh and the sofa is a one mesh as well so we are not talking about those two now yeah but with our cupboard we have uh, uh, like some child and parent relationships and uh, that's what we that's what I want to uh, talk about now Okay, so let's start with this single small uh, small cabinet. Uh, basically, again, we just created it by extrusions from from small cube. Then I made the shelf, which is right here, and then I made the doors and the handle for the doors. I gave them like. The child and parent relationship as in a cupboard or media cabinet models yeah so but that's not important for us at all because we know all these things already what I wanna tell you what is imp very quite important for me I have learned that's what I've learned recently just keep your your models organized uh, just give your objects uh, name so if you press if you click on this one this base you see that it's still just a cube because it was created from a cube so it's good to to change the name if you have this base selected press end to bring a, a transform properties window and change it to base I've done it already as you can see so you can do it uh, let's call it base enter alright and then I'm clicking the window you don't need to make this model just watch and watch and learn okay door I made it I, I call it door handle obviously handle and the shelf is gonna be try to guess shelf amazing alright so okay so let's say I want to import this small cabinet into my uh, I've opened uh, our coffee table scene let's go to 7 uh, top view and I want to import that 
small cabinet into the scene with the coffee table okay so I what I know already we need to need to use the file and uh, for blender files append or link if you are importing like 3d 3ds model or wavefront objects you can use import you have to use import uh, command but for blender files you need to press this one append or link all right okay so again a pen or link and, and this is gonna take me into my blender files library not straight away but I know where to find it and I want to bring that cabinet I call it cabinet grouping tutorial blender yeah so uh, as, as you see we have like created four we have four objects which is base door handle and shelf so click the object and what's hap what happened it shows you more than you wanted so it shows you like separated objects base door handle and shelf so you can be like a bit shocked now so let's just try to click on the base and you see that it's bringing the just a base into your scene but we need a shelf we need a door and we need a handle as well so we have no choice but continue and append or link we have a base there so we want to bring the shelf so click the shelf load library and we have a shelf in our scene as well but we're still missing the doors and handles so we could continue this way but this is not um, very effective so just press ctrl z and ctrl z again and go back to our to the scene with uh, with our small cabinet and basically you know I've start, I started to do a 3D modeling a few months ago by using the Google SketchUp and uh, what I've what I've realized very quickly if you want to do things like this it's basically like in a real life this cabinet uh, has a few parts few components in Google in SketchUp they call it components so this is basically one component this is another one third one and component number four and the whole thing like a cabinet is basically just a group of components so the question is how to make a group in a blender very simple click on a base hold down the shift click on a door click on a handle and click on a shelf and press control G add to new group and you see the green outline which means if you say if you press A and then you click on any of the members of the group they're highlighted like by, by green outline which which means that they are like members of your group Mm. If you will press F7 and down in the buttons window, objects and links, you see GR group. This is basically the group by the yeah uh, the name of this group because you can have like more groups in your scene in your current scene. But the name of this one, if you will do another one, it's gonna be group 0 point zero one and yeah you know how it goes in the blender but. Uh, just change the name of this group you can do it here and we will call it small cabinet press enter and from now on of course we need to go we have this uh, model saved as a as a blender grouping tutorial something yeah cabinet so we need to press uh, Control W and save over. Yeah, and from now on, this is a group for us. So if we go back to our scene, to our coffee table scene seven, and now 